people say the Northland Bank's true currencies are blood and tears. But Mayor, even speaking as a banker, that sounds a little unconscionable. Oh, now that guy has a head full of grandiose plans fueled by raw ambition. I don't understand a word he says once he starts talking about his theories. Eh, not as long as he keeps our cash reserves stocked up. I'm not complaining. You're trembling. Is it the cold, or just cowardice? I never got along with her, you know that. I guess there's not much more worth saying about her at this point. When you're a Harbinger, you have to accept that death could come at any time. But don't worry about me. No matter what happens, I'll do whatever it takes to keep myself alive. Forgo the chance to strike Del Mondstadt's savior. This time was a perfect moment. I was mere seconds away. After he took the Gnosis, we lost all contact with him. Now comes the task of trying to hunt it down and get it back. I actually don't mind it. It means I get to travel all over. Wait, In honor I... of her sacrifice, all work should halt for half a day as the nation mourns her passing. I don't know what his motivations could be, but he seems genuine about wanting to help me. He treats me just like family. Oh, and speaking of family, Tonya and Tusser are always telling me about the pastries and other gifts he brings them when they write. So while I've been away from Snezhnaya, he's kept his promise to take care of my family. The Fatui Harbingers are ranked by strength, and I have no idea why that girl is number three. I'd test my skills with every Harbinger who ranks above me if I had the chance. But when it comes to her, something just doesn't feel right. Anyway, you should be careful around her. Loafalta's sacrifice is a great pity. Her loss shall not hinder our progress. But Detore, what of Scaramouche and the Gnosis from Inazuma? I've seen him in battle before, and oh, what a sight it was. Perhaps I'm ranked too low for him to notice me right now. Well, he may not recognize my strengths yet, but one day, I'll show him what I'm made of. Right now, you have no captive audience. Let every worthy sacrifice be carved in ice. He was the first ever Fatui Harbinger, and today he's our leader. He only appears on important occasions. As for his accomplishments, to be honest, I don't really care. I owe my loyalty and devotion to the Tsaritsa, no one else. But you heartless businessmen and dignitaries always with a convenient excuse to remain in the comfort of your homeland. You couldn't hope to understand. So why don't you keep your mouths shut? I've got nothing against people who have their own agendas. I myself joined the Fatui to get more experience in combat, but I don't like her at all. If she stood to benefit from betraying others, she'd turn against the Tsaritsa in a heartbeat. There isn't a sane bone in her body. After conquering the Divine Gaze, he will make his next move. I heard that he took segments of himself at different ages, made prostheses out of them, and assigned different tasks to each one. I know. All my comrades are a little weird. Well, come to think of it, if I met my own prosthesis, ha, we'd have to fight then and there to decide which one of us gets to survive. Utterly risible. Though her methods tarnished her honor. She always seems engrossed in her research. Hmm, I wonder if those machines have anything to do with her. Anyway, I've only met her a few times, but every time she looked like she wanted to murder me. I have no idea what I possibly could have done to annoy her, though. <laughs>